So welcome to the channel. Today we're, I'm gonna be installing some some hella horns right here on the Can Am. Take this out. Now I want there are two of them in there. The only problem is that I was taking a look at right under here in the front. Let's see. Right back behind this line there's that brake line right there I can mount it on there but I wanted to do both but there's only one spot on this side to do it on the other side I don't see there's nowhere to to mount it so unfortunately I'm only gonna be able to do one. Now I did notice that there's holes right here and it is threaded. So technically I could put it there, but that would probably not be the best spot to have it. Wouldn't look good and I feel like it'd probably get hit by something like a rock. So we're only gonna be able to do one, unfortunately. I thought it looked pretty cool if I had it up here in the front behind the grill but I popped off this piece here to look behind there and there's no kinds of room to get back there and it's gonna block air going to the radiator anyway so that's not a good idea so yeah we're gonna have to go with only one unfortunately I really wanted to do both of them but this one. Oh well. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Well, actually, before we do that, I got to fix the rattle on this subwoofer actually, because I built this box and it wasn't a hundred percent flat on the bottom, so it rattles like crazy, even a little bit of bass. It's really annoying, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove the seat, which I gotta do anyways, but I got some foam to put under there to hopefully block, or not block, but to solve that issue. Got some foam here, got off Amazon. Hopefully that'll work. So I'll show you guys once I'm done with that.
I blessed you I mean, I got it in there, so I guess all there is to do now is go ahead and test it out. Yeah, a little dirty up there. Been left in the back for a month. But I've been moved. It's a little dirty right now. So, well, it's a little dark. <clears throat> All right, well, I mean, I guess it actually worked. Pretty much solved that issue, so we'll go ahead and move on to the Hellahorn install. And then I'll, uh, I'll update you guys. All right, quick update, guys. The original spot that I wanted to put the horn, yeah, that's not gonna happen. The bolt does not want to come off. And I kind of stripped it. So, now what I think I'm gonna end up doing is actually using these holes here. So, oh yeah, I have one right here. I'm kind of thinking about putting it Something like that, which still clears the the reservoir for the shock. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna end up doing that instead. So, I think I might be able to put both of them on there. Actually, I don't know. I was taking a look at the wiring kit, and um, I think there's only room for one actually. I don't think, see, I, th I, I thought this one was going to be for the other horn, but I think this might be for the switch. And then, this, these, I don't know what this plugs into, so I'm assuming the other one is for the horn, and then this one's for the switch. So I guess either way, I'm only gonna put one. I mean, I think it'll be loud enough. So, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, put this on real quick. And then I'll show you once it's done. 
all right well it's the next day um, I was having a little bit of trouble figuring out the switch because let me show you guys here this right here I figured out was for the switch and then the other one that I said I thought was for the other horn is actually for the other horn and uh, I was trying to wire it up to the switch here which it I mean the switch works it lights up when I have it connected straight to the battery right here but for some reason whenever I plug this or at least you know touch these terminals here to those on, on, on the switch it doesn't want to work for some reason and I can't seem to figure it out because I know the grounds go up here and then you have the positive here and here but for some reason it won't work when I touch both together now I know it works because if I touch both of these onto there the horns do activate I can go ahead and show you guys here hold on just so you can see that they do work so when I touch that it works but when I have it hooked up to this it doesn't so let me just just so you guys can see this okay this is the way it should be connected and when I go ahead and touch positive and ground doesn't even light up and I'm making I'm making contact with it so I'm not quite sure what the problem is with that um, yeah I don't know I still can't figure it out but I mean it works so I don't know but quick update on the actual horns where I said I was going to put it where's that wait a minute there we go I said I was gonna put it in these holes here there's one actually up on top okay now Hold on, can't get good view. Hold on. You can kind of see it there. There's another hole right up on top. So I have it mounted there. And I did notice that those reservoirs do move with the suspension up and down actually. Well, at least when the suspension goes up and down, it goes in and out. So if I had it mounted to the holes down here, it probably would have been an issue. So the way I have it, should it hit, so this side here has enough clearance. That shouldn't be an issue. The one on this side. I'm not too sure about and that's all the way it goes too because it's already resting on the uh, on the cooling line there which I don't think it's a problem but I mean I guess we'll find out when we go riding but I mean they're in there they work it's just I can't figure out that switch for some reason it doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna work I don't know 
can't figure it out. But I know it works. The horns do work. Just the switch. I don't know. It's brand new. It does light up. If I touch the same thing like with the horn. See that lights up. And even when I when I hit the the switch here. It lights up too. So I mean I know the switch works, at least the lights, but when I connect it to the actual horn, nothing. So yeah, I mean I tried using these here because this is for the stereo for this switch right here. And I know this switch does work. It it actually lights up right here and then it turns on the head unit. So I tried those onto the switch to see if maybe it could have been the harness or the relay or something. But even then I plug it into into this and it still doesn't even light up. So I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Alright, well the video cut off because the card is full on my camera so I'm just going to go ahead and make this quick. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it the way it is for now. Uh, I'll figure out that whole switch thing another day so that's it for this video if you guys like it like comment subscribe uh, next video I put out will be talking about the Can-Am what I've done to it the plans for the future and uh, we might have a writing video coming up soon we'll see and um, yeah that's it so I'll catch you guys in the next one Peace. Some gas on